How's it going, everybody? Today, I want to talk about GPU sag. So this is something that I've been dealing with recently. It's not something I really cared about that much, but after tinkering with my GPU, I started to notice that it wasn't quite level. You can see that the front part of the GPU has sunken down quite a bit. Now, this is not something you need to worry about. Perhaps if you went and searching for a video like this, you were worried about it. It's not something that's going to break your computer in any way. It's not going to break off your PCI Express slot. It's not going to break your video card. It's not something to worry about functionally. It's an aesthetic thing. So if you're somebody like myself who has a glass side panel, or even if you don't, and you just want to have, you know, you care about the aesthetics of your PC. Well, this is something that you can fix easily and cheaply. Not necessarily always that way. You can spend some money, but we're going to get into it. Now, my GPU is four years old. It's quite a chonker, but compared to what's coming out these days, especially from NVIDIA and their 3090, not just the FE edition, the third party cards are also massive. And I can imagine if they don't have really great backplates for support that you're going to get some GPU sag. So the first way to fix this, this is something that I saw from Jay over at Jay's Two Cents, is to just use the power cables that are connected in to your video card. So for me, it was quite easy to try this is you just have to go over the top of the card plug it in and then pull the slack away and make sure you can tie down the power cable in the back and that's going to give the card support so that it's level. Now, personally, I didn't really like this option. I'm sure it's not going to break anything. I'm sure it's not going to break the power ports on the video card. But at the same time, aesthetically, I preferred if if the cable just went underneath the card. So for me, not my first choice, but it's an easy, good first choice if you want something free. Next up is to buy peripherals that can actually do this. So there's different brackets you can buy. If you go online, you can find brackets from the back, brackets from the bottom, brackets with RGB, brackets with logos, brackets with waifus for the weeaboos, and price ranges from instant ramen all the way up to the rich people prices. And we're talking about fill the tank all the way rich. So I decided to buy one of these. This was a cheap one. It's up here. It was, I think, $15. And I did buy this with the money that I got from my supporters over at Patreon. So thank you so much to the patrons over at Patreon. And if you're not a patron over there, go check it out. I got different support levels where you can get bonus stuff from us. So this GPU bracket is very simple, it's just a piece of metal, and it comes with a few screws and two rubber support grommets. I'm not sure exactly what to call them, but all you have to do is basically take out the screws from your GPU and the one below it, stick this on there, put those screws in, and basically put that grommet wherever you need to so that it's not interfering with the fans and you're good to go. Now, it does a great job and it's relatively easy to get set up. It's a little bit more tricky than one of the options I have later down we're going to talk about. But the thing I'm worried about while using this one is having to take it out and put it back on. It's already kind of a pain in the butt, especially if you have bigger hands to take off and put back on those thumb screws for your GPU. Having to do a third one and considering how much there's not a lot of leeway between these little gaps, uh, it was quite a pain to get it on and off. I might get better at it if I kept using it but it's not something I wanted to have to deal with on a daily basis or even weekly basis. So personally, I'm not gonna use this, but for those of you who aren't gonna be tinkering with your GPU very often, these things I think are gonna be a great option for really cheap. Now, the third option you have is to completely forget about that horizontal mount and having that GPU sag, and that's to mount your GPU vertically. So a lot of people have been doing this recently. This is becoming very popular, and you can even get cases that have this built in with the riser cables already ready to go. But you can also get aftermarket parts to actually convert your case into a vertical mount. This is an aesthetic choice, and obviously it's going to eliminate any GPU sag off the bat. Now, this is not something I'm interested in doing. Call me old fashioned, but I like the classic horizontal mount. Now, the fourth and by far my favorite way to deal with GPU sag is the MacGyver method. So that is to find anything you can to either get under or suspend your GPU to make sure that it's level. So even for example, <clears throat> get a pencil, measure the distance between the bottom of your case and the bottom of your GPU and just cut it to size. Mine was 3.5 inches. Yours might be bigger. It might be smaller, but remember size doesn't really matter. But once you cut it to size, all you have to do is just stick it in there and easy peasy. It's good to go. But again, we're talking about aesthetics here, and the whole reason why we're doing this is to make it look good. So another method you can do, is this, this is something I've been seeing online as well, is to find different items to go in there 
usually from thrift stores and things like that. So that's what I did. I went to my local thrift store and searched around for a few items. And what I found were, oh, all right, give me a sec. Where's the other one? Okay, there it is. These three are the, I, I walked into the store. I had a measuring tape. And the first thing I found was this chalice and it was basically the perfect size. By the way, make sure you wash these things off thoroughly. You don't know how many people have touched them. You don't know where it's been. And I guarantee the people at the store didn't do that for you. I suggest maybe using some kind of acid, something like that, but be careful with that. Uh, you don't want to have any accidents, of course, uh, and uh, end up with some kind of leg disability. So be careful with that. Um, and this one I was actually really impressed with worked perfectly. Just on the first go, slipped it in there. It was fine. And I think this is something I could play around with and get some kind of theme out of it, especially uh, being a Monty Python fan, maybe some kind of Holy Grail theme or something like that. The next thing I found that was the right height was this glass ball. And I was really excited to try this, but it turns out it was just a bit too high. And I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed about that because I felt like I could have put some LEDs underneath it or even inside of it to make it glow. I think it, I think it would have looked pretty cool. But anyways, not a huge loss there. Really cheap stuff. But the last one I found was this, and this is absolutely my favorite. It's it's this little Buddha with covering his ears. And I think there was two others in the set. It was the uh, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil set. I got the hear no evil set because that's what I like to live by. And uh, he was also a bit too tall, but after shaving off the top of his head to reveal what was inside, which is uh, pretty much nothing, he fit perfectly. And I, I really like the aesthetic. And whenever somebody might look at my PC to see Buddha sitting in there, I think this is gonna be my choice. That's pretty fun. So that's it guys. I hope this video has been helpful for you. There are many different ways to support your GPU if you want to, but again, you don't have to. It's totally fine if your GPU is sinking a little bit. But anyways, this has been Tech Illiterate. My name is Nick. Thank you for watching.